Girl, did y'all see that Usher video? Honey, Usher got a video with guess who? It's Kiki. Kiki Palmer. Yes, they got a video, and the name of the song is called Boyfriend. And Usher start off, I bet your boyfriend looking at me. Everybody is calling this, Usher, you are such a genius, a marketing genius. And y'all probably know, well, okay, why, why is Usher a marketing genius? What is the deal with Kiki Palmer being an Usher video? Girl, if you know, you know. But if you don't know, I'll let you know everything. Now, before I start, I need everybody to make sure you guys like this video. Yes, 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 yes. I'm Ruby Bay. And honey, I need my likes, okay? And make sure you guys subscribe. And I thank you guys for joining the channel. Now, now you guys know a little back then, Kiki Palmer had a boyfriend, a baby daddy, okay? Now, before she got pregnant, you know, because Kiki Palmer, she's a mom now. She didn't have curves, okay? But honey, after the pregnancy, she had boobs. She had a new body. She had hips, ass, everything. Okay, that thing was looking right. And now she is more dressed and more revealing, more sexy. And her baby daddy didn't mind. He didn't mind. He was taking her behind that was twerking and putting it all on his social media account. So he didn't mind that she was having a sexy body and she was showing off and stuff. You know, hey, <laughs> she was feeling good as she should. So things got kind of sticky. It got kind of sticky, honey. Okay. It got sticky when she went to the Usher concert. Yes. She went to the Usher concert and they said that she had on something sexy. It was see-through. Okay. And she was all up on Usher. And Usher was all up on her. They said he was she was segregating her, her, okay? I don't know what the fuck it is. They said, oh, Usher was segregating her. Okay. I guess it's when he comes and he sings, they call it segregating, okay? So he was selling her or whatever they call it. And when I tell you, social media had a field day. They were shaming Kiki, saying, oh my God, Kiki, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are a baby mom. You know, you got a boyfriend out here, Kiki. Shame on you. You should put some clothes on. You look ridiculous. You're a mom and you don't got no clothes on. You looking sexy and you all up on Usher when you got a whole baby daddy at home. Mind you, the nigga ain't marry her, but he got a, she got a baby daddy at home, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so she over here having the time of her life as she should. She went through a whole pregnancy. You know, so many women die from pregnancy. I mean, she's hallelujah, and she got this goddamn new body, and she ain't have to pay for it, honey. It's all natural. It's all natural, honey, okay? So, honey, she is just so thankful what God has blessed her with, and she want to feel it, and that's what she did, honey. Everybody was dragging her. Then they started talking about her boyfriend. Oh, his ass must be a simp. How you allow your girlfriend to come out here looking like this, being all up on Usher. You ain't a man. You ain't a real man. Yeah, that was getting all up in his face. Because they just cannot stand to see women liberated, you know, having a good relationship and being a mom. You know, we don't live in the 1950s. You know, this is a different time. You know what I mean? This is a different time. So a lot of people had an issue with that. And they would start knocking on her boyfriend door. So, honey, when I tell you that boyfriend, he got heated and he got in his feelings. Why he got in his feelings? He should have really prayed about this and thought this through. But he did not. And mind you, let me give you a little insight about the boyfriend. They say he don't got a goddamn job. Nope. He don't got no job. He don't work. He don't provide. He ain't protecting nobody. All he is doing is, uh, you know, living off of Kiki Palmer. And I guess that's how they want it. And Kiki Palmer didn't judge. You know, she could have had a rich man. Steve Harvey was even telling her, Kiki, you need to get with a billionaire, a millionaire, a rich man that can provide for you and be this, uh, you know, this nigga for you. And Kiki Palmer said, no, nah, Steve, it's about love, Steve. I want love, okay? <laughs> she said, I don't care about no man trying to have all this money and want to control me. She said, no, 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 no. She want to find real love and the man don't have to have no money, okay? So, you know, a lot of people are into that. They want to find men that are homeless. 
actually Tiffany Haddish, she's coming out with a whole documentary series about black women falling in love with homeless men. She says that, you know, you should give homeless men a chance. Everybody needs love. Okay. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish girl. Yeah. That's what she said. So, you know, it's a whole big thing. So anyway, I guess Kiki Palmer thought by him being homeless, he will be appreciated of. And, you know, just be loving. And she, Kiki Palmer said she loved that her man was not so alpha malpha, you know what I'm saying? Uh, masculine and shit, you know. He had a little zass in him, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, he wore her fingernail polish and things. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, she didn't mind. She didn't judge him when he was wearing a goddamn finger polish. You know what I'm saying? And this is goddamn nails to paint. So anyway, and mind you, honey, let's not talk about where they met. They met at Puff Daddy party. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, honey. You smell that zest. <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you something about that shit. Okay, so you met at Puff Daddy. Now, you know what everybody say about Puff Daddy. I don't know if it's true or not, you know. Live your truth. I don't give a damn if he in the closet or he not. I don't give a fuck. He got money. It ain't my problem. So, they said they met at Puff Daddy party. Okay. <laughs> rumors going around that him and Puff Daddy already had a motherfucking thing going on. Okay. But then... Rumors around that Kiki Palmer, she's bisexual too. So they all bi. You know what I'm saying? They're going left and right, up and down. <laughs> they go all the way to motherfucking around. So, you know, everybody getting a piece, okay? <laughs> everybody getting a piece of each other, okay? So anyway, let me keep on going, okay? Before I get motherfucking... <laughs> Before I get motherfucking distracted. If y'all enjoy my commentary, can I get some other... Can I get some likes? Can I please get some damn likes in this motherfucker? You know I'm nervous. You know, I'm not used to being out here on this camera. This is like my, what, first week? So you know, Ruby May, honey, I need some motherfucking likes. So anyway, let's get back to the thing. So Darius, I think his name Darius, Kiki Palmer, baby daddy. He got real pumped up by all these other men telling him, you need to check her. You know, she's out here. She don't got no clothes on. Usher segregating her. And they all up dancing on each other in public. That's embarrassing for you as a baby daddy. So he got on the internet, girl, and wore Key Key Palmer out. Okay? He said, How dare you? You a damn mom. You out here looking like a slut. How can I respect you? You know, I can't stand this generation where these women, they not, you know, I guess being conservative. They ain't being covered up. They have no respect for their baby daddy. Okay. I can't stand this shit. He was just going off. And if you know Kiki Palmer, she came out with a radio show and she told everybody she don't want her personal business out here on the internet. And I don't blame her. She even went so far to say if somebody told her that they saw her baby daddy with another man that, oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> the truth just came on out, didn't it? Did <laughs> damn, okay. <laughs> damn, okay. Okay, did you? Lord have mercy. Uh, scratch that. <laughs> okay, scratch that shit. Scratch what I just said. Okay, 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 okay. He came out with another man. I mean, oh shit. Scratch that shit again. He came out with another woman. <laughs> he, he, she said. <laughs> ah! She said if he came out. What another? <laughs> the truth just slip on now. That's the problem. Okay, if he came out with another... <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you know we're not gonna play. If he came out with another... <laughs> If he came out with another woman, okay? <laughs> uh she would deny it. You know, she she would say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that girl, I don't know that man or whatever. You know, she would deny it, you know, and I'm sure if her man, if it was a rumor and her man came out with another man, you know, she would probably feel the same way too. She would deny those rumors, right? Um, so she said that, okay? Um, meaning that she would keep it behind closed doors and she will have a conversation with her man behind closed doors. Um, however, he did not honor that with her he didn't have a, a close conversation about what happened between 
her and Usher getting serenaded together, okay? He didn't have that conversation. He just blasted her on social media. She felt so embarrassed. Um, and she kicked him out that night and said, go back to your mama house, okay? Yes, honey. And we haven't heard from his ass ever since, okay? And then afterwards, she kept her head up high. She came out doing music videos. Uh, she talked a little bit about it. She said that her business is her business. And she, was, she showed us that, hey, she's still going to shine. She's not going to allow this to get her down. She didn't come out crying. She didn't go ghost. She faced the music, and she kept on ticking as a boss supposed to be, okay? So he lost the bag. He lost the place to stay. Now he's over there with his mama house. And come to find out, they said that he was cheating on her ass too. Uh-huh. He doing all that. He was trying to fly some girl out. Oh, trying to fly some girl out on her money. Because he don't got no money. He don't got no job. Trying to find fly somebody out. Okay? Yeah. They said before he was broke, you know, didn't have no job. He was up there training. Training other niggas. Okay? Too many bitches with a niggas at. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I don't know. But I guess he was, you know, doing training or whatever. But uh, he got comfortable and he was the, uh, the house dad, you know, taking care of the kids over there. So, you know, now, you know, fast forward, Usher comes out with a music video. And now Kiki Palmer is the main girl. So everybody is like, oh my God, that is so amazing how Usher used that moment and now he's seizing it again in the music video because everybody saw the connection between Kiki Palmer and Usher. And let us, let us know, Usher, he is happily with his relationship. He got kids. I believe he's married. I'm not sure. But, you know, they don't have nothing with each other. They're entertainers. Their, their job is to be out here entertained. We know that Kiki Palmer, she is an artist herself. So a lot of artists like Beyonce, like Nicki Minaj, they're gonna dress sexy. You know, they're gonna sell a little bit of lust. Design. And that is something he cannot handle, clearly, okay? So comment, let us know what you guys think about that. Will you guys be watching this music video? I know I will, I know. I know I will. All right. Until then, make sure you guys like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right. Bye.